Just wanted to share some short thoughts with you from Psalm 131. One of the things that I've noticed about myself and just talking with people and praying with people is that there's kind of this general feeling of just being overwhelmed, overwhelmed by kind of like everything that's going on, everything that we're feeling in response to that. And Psalm 131 has these short verses about what does it look like to find relief from being overwhelmed and says this lord my heart is not proud my eyes are not haughty i do not get involved with things too great or too wondrous for me and it got me thinking that you know part of the reason myself and others can get overwhelmed is because we think a little bit too much about what's going to happen next and the difficulty with that is nobody really knows and there's the back and forth and all the kinds of arguments and debates about dates and ending different things and starting different things. And when you go see all the back and forth, we get caught up in all the news feeds and the social media posts and all the arguing. It's so easy for our souls to feel overwhelmed by all of it. And it got me thinking that, you know what? In some ways, this situation is just too great and too wondrous, at least for me that there's so much about it that I don't understand, that I don't know, and that I can't control. And that I, I certainly can't predict any outcomes or when things are gonna change. And so David reminds us here that, Lord, I'm not gonna get involved in things that are beyond me. Meaning he's going to hand over that control, not that we ever really had it in the first place, but that's kinda what it feels like. We're gonna hand control over to you, God, and say, you're the one that can handle everything. You're the one that can handle anything. And, and there's just things that are beyond me. There's things beyond my mental capacity, my emotional capacity. And especially right now, there's so many things that can make me feel overwhelmed. That God, the only way I'm gonna get through it is that I lean on you and trust that nothing's too great or wondrous for you. In fact, David says this in the next verse, he says, instead, so instead of getting involved with the things that are too great or too wondrous, too beyond our control. He says, Instead, I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother. My soul is like a weaned child. He's simply saying, My soul, instead of getting caught up in everything that I can't control, instead of getting overwhelmed with all the things that are beyond my understanding or beyond my power, my influence, I'm going to act like a small child with its mother. That when I'm scared and overwhelmed as a small child, you go to your mom or your dad for that comfort and that sense of security and safety. And there's just this overwhelming feeling of everything's going to be okay because mom's here. Everything's going to be okay because dad's here. And this is the picture that David gives to us with our relationship with our Heavenly Father, that it's like a small child that when the world feels too big and, and too overwhelming, that the way we find rest for our souls is by running to Him and resting in Him and trusting Him and understanding and knowing, I don't know everything. I don't control everything. I don't understand all the situations and all the arguments and all the debates and the back and forth, but I do know that my Heavenly Father is holding on to me and there's nothing too great are wondrous for him and he's got it all under control and so my hope and prayer for you is that your soul will be able to find rest like a small child going to a parent when they're overwhelmed and scared and trusting that okay mom and dad have got this they're gonna take care of it that it's the same for you with your Heavenly Father that when you feel overwhelmed and scared by everything that's going on that your soul can find rest and comfort as you go to your Heavenly Father and trust nothing is too great for him. God's peace to you.